Probably the most advanced tech we have today is robotics. In the digital age, robots are changing life as we know it, and people are pretty open to these innovations. Robots are stepping in almost everywhere, doing things humans might never have thought possible. They're assisting in surgeries, handling repetitive tasks in factories, going to war zones instead of humans, managing homes when we're away, securing valuable items, and delivering essential goods. However, robotics is one of the most complex fields of technology. As much as it is easy to use in any field, what is more difficult is to find a scope to do a business that solely relies on robotics to do every day's regular chores. Imagine a scenario where you get to find your prescribed medication right next to your door, which spares you going to the pharmacy to grab it in person. This will be useful when you are elderly and cannot go to the drugstore to get it, nor can you send someone to get it for you either. What about if a robotic self-driving delivery car ran an errand for you the most succulent pizzas in the town? Now, we're going to talk about a company that has successfully made it happen. Neuro, an American robotics company that develops autonomous delivery robots for operating on public roads safely and efficiently without creating any environmental hazard. Founded by two former Google engineers, this startup is on the verge of transforming autonomous delivery. So now, we'll take you back to where the story begins and see how Neuro tackled all those tricky obstacles and sustained itself in this highly competitive industry. This is Dave Ferguson, and this is Jia Jun Ju, the two creative minds behind Neuro's development. Dave used to love robotics, especially with self-driving vehicles for local deliveries. Before starting Neuro, he worked at Google as a principal engineer on their self-driving car project, Waymo. He also held positions at Two Sigma Investments and Intel. With degrees in robotics and computer science from Carnegie Mellon University, Dave has over 100 patents and has published more than 60 papers. He developed algorithms for NASA's Mars rovers and helped win the DARPA Urban Grand Challenge in 2007. Jia Junju was also a principal software engineer on the same project Dave was working on. The two met while working and later became co-founders of an innovative company. Jia Jun always wanted to change how goods are delivered, and this was the inspiration behind leaving Google and doing something on his own. He also holds patents for predicting how objects behave, which is important for autonomous driving. Currently, Jia Jun is playing the role of CEO at Neuro. The main reason behind the duo's combination is their passion for robotics, and their shared field of expertise worked like the cherry on top here. They both met, shared their dreams, and just founded Neuro. Neuro was founded in September 2016 by former members of Google's self-driving car team. Jia Jun led the perception and simulation efforts, while Dave focused on machine learning and computer vision. When Google's self-driving project became the standalone company Waymo, they duo were given three options. One to stick to the project up until the completion of the project, which may take eight years for which they will be paid off full salary, or to opt out of the company with a lump sum amount. Both decided to take a lump sum payout instead of staying on, each receiving around $40 million. With this financial support and a fresh burst of motivation, they chose to create something of their own. So they founded Neuro in Mountain View, California. They had their full freedom because the initial funding came straight from their own pockets. So they started working on chasing a unique goal, making small self-driving robots that will only do deliveries. By January 2018, they introduced their first product, the R1. To make it happen, they've got a big $92 million investment from Greylock Partners and Gaurong Capital. It helped the company get the R1 ready for production and real-world deliveries. Neuro's early success brought it under the spotlight, and everyone started knowing its name. In February 2019, they secured an impressive $940 million in funding from the SoftBank Vision Fund, which raised their company's value to $2.7 billion. With this new funding, Neuro was able to grow its operations and form key partnerships for its further expansion. These included teaming up with Kroger for grocery deliveries in June 2018, Domino's Pizza for food delivery in June 2019, CVS Pharmacy for prescription deliveries in May 2020, and 7-Eleven for commercial deliveries in December 2021. To build even more momentum, Neuro signed a major 10-year partnership with Uber Eats in September 2022, 
and launched autonomous delivery services across California and Texas. As Neuro's technology advanced, so did its vehicles. In February 2020, Neuro introduced the R2, an upgraded delivery robot built specifically for fully autonomous operation. Unlike traditional vehicles, the R2 doesn't have a steering wheel, side mirrors, or pedals. It's designed entirely for the purpose of transporting goods on its own. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the R2 became crucial for contactless delivery of essential items and medical supplies, proving its value in real-world situations. Neuro gained even more momentum with key regulatory approvals. It became the first company in its industry to get an exemption from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, so it started to operate more freely. The company also received full autonomous deployment permits in states like Arizona, California, and Texas. In November 2020, Neuro raised another $500 million in a Series C round, led by T. Rowe Price, that pushed its post-money valuation to $5 billion. This funding round attracted new investors like Woven Capital and Chipotle Mexican Grill. The next month, Neuro made another big move by acquiring iKey Robotics, a startup focused on self-driving trucks. This acquisition brought 55 IKE employees under Neuro's wing and added depth to its talent pool in autonomous logistics. By 2021, Neuro's valuation had reached $8.6 billion. In August of the same year, the company invested $40 million in a new manufacturing facility and test track in southern Nevada. With big investors and impressive growth, Neuro ranked Nomdat 10 on LinkedIn's top 50 startups list in 2019. Even with challenges like layoffs in 2022 and 2023, Neuro has remained strong. The company has relied on its resources, solid partnerships, and next-gen technology to keep leading in autonomous delivery. Well, the success didn't just come from their innovation and hard work. It also happened because of smart planning and building strong partnerships. By working with major companies in retail and tech, Neuro has expanded its reach and capabilities without taking on all the risks alone. Neuro partnered with some service-based alliances like Kroger, Domino's Pizza, CVS Pharmacy, and 7-Eleven. But for technological support, the company also has partnerships with big names like Toyota's Woven Capital, BYD, and NVIDIA, which help improve the hardware and software behind Neuro's delivery vehicles. Working with well-known brands help the company to enter new areas. Neuro thoughtfully plans each partnership to set everyone up for success. They start by defining clear goals and creating a shared plan so everyone knows what they're aiming for. Neuro also chooses partners who share similar values, making collaboration smooth and enjoyable. By combining their strengths, Neuro and their partners can enhance their services, save money, and work more efficiently together. To keep everything running smoothly, the company likely has a structured system for decision-making and tracking progress. Regular check-ins allow both sides to stay on the same page, adjust plans as needed, and keep the partnership flexible. So, there's no doubt that a company will succeed when it makes such smart moves. If we talk about Neuro's vehicle on the road, the model that comes in first place is the R1. That vehicle was designed for safe deliveries in neighborhoods. It could go up to 25 miles per hour and have sensors, cameras, and LiDAR for navigation. Next model was the R2. It came out in February 2020 and included some important upgrades. Neuro got special permission from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to remove side mirrors. This made it one of the first autonomous vehicles allowed to drive on public roads without side mirrors. With the R2, Neuro was able to expand its services and partner with major retailers. Neuro also developed the P2 model, which is a Toyota Prius equipped with Neuro's self-driving technology. The P2 is used for testing and mapping new areas before fully autonomous vehicles are deployed. Since it can carry a human safety driver, it allows for smoother testing and helps ensure that everything is ready for full deployment in new locations. In January 2022, Neuro introduced its third-generation autonomous delivery vehicle. This model is built to handle heavier loads, carrying up to 500 pounds, and can travel at speeds of 45 miles per hour. It's versatile for many types of deliveries. To improve safety, this model is equipped with a pedestrian airbag, which provides extra protection for people around it. Our lives are becoming more automated every day, and of course, all in the name of our well-being. 
If we can eliminate the technologies that harm us and humanity, these advancements will truly be a blessing for everyone. Autonomous delivery vehicles are part of that positive change, and Neuro is constantly working to make them even more reliable. So let's wait and see what comes next, and how Neuro plans to further automate our lives.